Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of my channel. So today's video is all about my piercings. Just as the title of the video suggests, I got a new, you know, septum piercing. I got a conch and a forward helix, yeah? So this video is all about that. And just in case you're not, you know, you're not into piercings or, or you don't like piercings, um, don't come for me in the comment section. This is just what I like and yeah. So before I get into the video and explain more about it, kindly watch the vlog and see how it went down and then I'll come back and I'll just share with you one or two things that I feel like is important that you guys should know. Yeah. Guys, we are doing a conch now. Yeah. We are doing a conch where the marking is. We are from doing a septum. So, you go back and breathe in. Just breathe in enough for me. And you turn your head. No, that's up. Turn your head and breathe in enough for me. Just breathe in and out. 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 Breathe. Breathe. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. 
Yeah, we did closer. And we did a conch, guys. Eh, no, go strong. Did you come back? Like nothing is happening. It's fast. You know, then the needles are specific for that, yeah? Guys, you're doing a helix? Doing a helix. Making enough for me. Breathe. Breathe. Try not to move. Just breathe in and out. Try not to move. Just breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Try not to move. Just breathe. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Try not to move. Breathe. Don't get tired. Breathe. And just like that, the tie, close up, up, you get it up, and close it. So now it's good Wow. Guys, the reason as to why we use longer bar. Going up cotton wool. This woman just did a septum and then we did a conch and a helix. I'm proud of you. You're stronger than I thought. You did it. <laughs> just give me a five. Good. step is to go and do my nails okay so i'll go for a pedicure session so see ya
as you guys saw, I got three new piercings. So initially I had nine, a total of nine piercings and I went and added three. So right now I have 12, I'm um, 12 new, I mean 12 piercings, yeah? So three of them are new. So I added two on my left ear, just because I felt like my ears weren't balanced. I had five already on my right ear and then I had three. So it, to me, it looked a little bit kind of awkward. So I felt like it was, it was a need, <laughs> okay? So right now I'm at peace just because I know I have five on my left and five on my right so i decided to go for a conch and for a what a fat helix so this fat helix i had already pierced it last year but it kind of backfired i did it on my like by myself at home but it didn't even take a month it kind of backfired so i left it to heal and then i went and pierced it again yeah and then for my septum i didn't think about it too much to be honest I think I only had like two weeks before, you know, two weeks of me thinking about it and then I made my decision and I went and got the piercings and I have no regrets. To be honest, immediately I got my septum piercing, I looked at myself in the mirror and I honestly loved what I saw, so, you know, <laughs> I am at peace with it, yeah. So, like I said, I have 12 piercings and out of 12 piercings, six of them, I did them by myself over the years from 2013 and all throughout when i got my like when i pierced myself i normally used um table salt or either salt and water and that's what i used to you know to ensure that my piercings were healing and i also know from research that people say that i sh um, it's not right for you to use table salt or either salt but to me, it worked well, to be honest, and that's why they healed, yeah? But this time around, I just felt like I wasn't ready to go through that process again and just pierce myself. And also, I didn't have the tools that I needed to get myself my piercings, yeah? So that's why I decided to go to a professional. So like you guys saw, I went to Ink City because, you know, Johnny from, or rather John from Ink City is well known for piercings and for tattoos. And then another thing is that they changed their location and then afterwards they had an offer for piercing. So their offer was, you know, you can get your any piercing for 1,000 and initially it was for 1,500 shillings. So because they had an offer, I paid 3,000 shillings for my three piercings as opposed to 4,500, which would have been my cost if they didn't have the offer. So that's why I decided to go that particular time yeah so after getting my piercings they gave me this selling solution is much more convenient as opposed to using making your own solution at home just because it's a long process and then another thing is that table salt normally dries down and you can see the residue or rather the white residue on your piercings and it's not cute yeah so this one is much more convenient so i normally clean my piercings three times a day just because i honestly want it to heal and I don't want to have any kind of, inf of infection. Of course, I know uh, cleaning my piercings three times a day won't um, fasten the process, but I just want to ensure that, you know, I don't get any infection, yeah? So pretty much that is it. I know it's been five days, so I can't say so much about it, but I don't have any, I haven't experienced any problem and I don't feel like my piercings are painful unless when I have to touch my ear or have to touch my nose. And then another thing, I feel like my septum piercing was the most painful at the time when I was getting it pierced. On a scale of one to 10, I'll say a strong eight. <laughs> but afterwards, I feel like I haven't felt any pain unless when I'm touching it. But my, for my ear, I feel um, the second night after getting it, it was really swollen, but right now it has, you know, reduced. And I feel like it's also, what it's expected just because I've inserted something foreign inside my ear. Yeah, but right now it's much better. So yeah, here's the conch and here is my fad helix and my septum. And also for my septum, I didn't want something so big. So I just told her immediately that I wanted something small. And so the smallest that we had and yeah, I like it. So I feel like it was important for me to make this video just so that the next time I do a vlog or the next time I do a sit down video, you guys won't be asking me, hey, you're having a new piercing, you know, like questions. Yeah, so that's it. So let me know in the comment section, do you have 
as much piercings or as little piercings as I do, would you consider getting a septum piercing? And if you do, or rather if you have any cartilage piercings, how or rather what are the steps that you're taking to ensure that your piercings are healing or the, what steps do you take to ensure that your piercings heal? Yeah, so that's it. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. And up until the next video, bye-bye.